Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Star Wars The Black Series The Force Awakens Han Solo in four minutes or less. Quick disclaimer up front, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens has taken in over two million dollars. Billion. Billion? We could almost get our own shit for that much. I'm going to assume that you have seen the film, or at the very least, since you are on the internet right now, there couldn't possibly be anything that I could spoil about the events of the film, but in case this gets spoilery, you have been warned. Force Awakens Han Solo is a six inch figure that matches up perfectly size-wise with all previously released Black Series Han Solo figures. That shouldn't be something that needs to be pointed out, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't at least a little surprised that he wasn't a smidge shorter as a shrewd cost-cutting measure on Hasbro's end. But this isn't a repaint or reissue of a previous figure since Hasbro hasn't produced a Bespin version of Han yet, and that's the closest approximation of the look Han is sporting in the film. If there had been a Bespin version already on the shelves, they very easily could have done a head swap, repainted it, and sent it out. That said, I wouldn't be surprised if this one shows up with a blue jacket and the younger Han head at some point in the future. The jacket isn't exactly the same as the Bespin jacket, but it's pretty close. And none of that is criticism of this figure, it's more criticism of Han's look in the film. And not so much a criticism either, it's just Han's a pretty consistent guy when it comes to picking out his wardrobe. He likes his three-quarter sleeve space cowboy t-shirts, tight pants, riding boots, his gun belt, and a comfy jacket to finish the whole thing off. It can get chilly in space, listen to your mom, take a jacket. On the contrary, I'm actually impressed with Hasbro's likeness on this figure. It's the best, right out of the box, no repainting necessary, non-robot, non-alien, non-helmeted likeness in the line. The only ones that come close are Finn and Rey. And if we're talking pre-Force Awakens, you have to go all the way back to the first figure in the line, X-Wing Luke, to find something that isn't so grossly mishandled that it makes you wonder why they even bother trying and why I have purchased every single one of them. The track record for human heads has been a long and hilarious train wreck of crossed eyes, poorly applied eyebrows, thin lips, and potato homages. The previous Han Solo figures have all used the same Han head with the exception of Hoth Han, which, to me, looks like they started from the same base head and added the sculpted hat. But the problem with just about all of the human heads in the line is that the sculpting work is actually really incredible, but it gets covered up by sloppy amateurish paint that undermines the likenesses that Hasbro is actually paying for and achieving. I am constantly blown away by the amount of detail that is actually incorporated into the sculpts once talented customizers get their hands on them. Look, I don't know anything about the toy manufacturing process. I don't know if paint apps are applied by robots or people being treated like robots. And I can accept that there is a degree of degradation from the prototype of a figure to the finished piece. I can accept that there is a loss of some of the realness when a human portrait gets miniaturized in plastic, but I cannot understand the philosophy that does the work to get the sculpt right, only to bury it under slathered on paint. Other subtle differences between this Han and his predecessors includes a new sculpt for his trusty sidearm, which is like 15% smaller, and a new gun belt which lacks the additional strap to prevent the blaster from falling out. Also, the strap around his leg is now a sculpted detail rather than the independent piece attached to the holster. These are minor details that feel nitpicky, but they are clear indicators of where the line started and where it has gone. It may seem like a little thing, but it's the little things that made the line so impressive when it began. It's the little things that justify the price. Purely as an action figure, it's not that exciting. Even I almost gave it an easy pass, but since it's Star Wars, since it's Han Solo, since the likeness is really well done, it's a must have, so buy it if you see it. And if you see two, leave one for the next collector. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite Han Solo jacket is. And please subscribe and share this video so no one steals my new band name, Thin Lips and the Potato Homages. You didn't say what your favorite console would get. Vespin. Go. <laughs> okay.